What is up, everybody? Just wanted to take some time to go over my mandolin effects today. Uh, what I've got running is it's kind of all going through an LR Bags Venue DI. Uh, the signal from that is going into an active Mackie speaker over there in the corner, and as is this microphone here. So it's two signals um, coming out of the speaker, and that speaker is mic'd, and that mic is running into the board that I'm using. Um, additionally, I've also got this, but we're not. I'm not really using this microphone for anything musical. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I think the most important effect that I have on the board is the reverb, which is a Digitech Polara. So let's hear what it sounds like completely dry. Let's add it on. So yeah, it really fills up the sound a lot, kind of gives you some uh, some room to, to swim in the uh, the notes or the progression you're playing, kind of gives you some more sustain, depth, uh, anything like that. So I like that one a lot. In fact, I'm going to leave that one on for the duration of this video. Um, but the next pedal that I like to use would be the envelope, fil would be the envelope filter, sorry. Um, and, the, and I like that one because it kind of just, it adds a funk element. And I, I like Jerry Garcia, I like the Grateful Dead a lot. Um, and I found that the bass envelope filter by MXR has been the one I've been able to adjust the best for the mandolin, and that's with the Q knob. Um, that'd be this one right there. And uh, that basically, I think it, it, it adjusts the, uh, the scope of the envelope that's happening, and I like to turn it down to where the highs aren't really so present so the mandolin isn't sounding very shrill. So let's, uh, let's go over that. That one just adds a fun color to it. Not something to use all the time, but when you do use it, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, next thing I'm, I want to show is kind of how I use this red microphone here. So I'm going to speak loudly now. I don't really have a microphone on me. But uh, if you hear it now... So I hope you could tell a, a decent difference there. I sure can, definitely in the monitors when I'm playing live. I think it fills up the sound a whole lot. Kind of gives me some, um, it gives me confidence, honestly, to hear the mandolin sound as big as that and more full and not just a plugged in mandolin sound. Not to say the LR bag sound isn't good, but uh, it felt it, it, it helps a lot to have the, uh, have the full on microphone sound. Uh, moving on, we'll check out the phaser. Phaser's fun. Uh, so here we go. And so yeah, that one's cool too. It's another fun color, kind of like the envelope filter. I think it can be used in way more liberally than the envelope filter. It's just, it's a more subtle effect, but still packs a punch, I think. And it's a phase 90, it's a, it's a classic. 
Um, next one would be the Sub and Up Mini, which is one that's been on and off on my board. Um, this one is super cool. I, can, I like to throw it on when I want to add some emphasis or some girth to something, maybe match the guitar in a part. Um, so uh, let's hear what that sounds like. I'm going to start without it just so you can hear the distinction of the difference. Here we go. You know, like that, that one I think just fills up the sound a whole lot and can make your mandolin sound like it's filling up way more space than it is, which in the right cases is super fun to do, I think. Um, yeah, this has been my, uh, my pedal board review. Um, I play in a band called Sickard Hollow here in Nashville, Tennessee, a jamgrass band. You can follow us at our YouTube channel, Sickard Hollow. We're there and we got some videos um, and our album actually as well. Um, I also host a podcast called the Music City Podcast, and we have a YouTube channel as well. Go check us out there at the Music City Podcast. And um, yeah, y'all, maybe I'll be making more videos like this. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.